Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Alan Anthony from Phone Tech at Work, and this is my one-week review, one-week impressions, one-week whatever you want to call it, with the Samsung Galaxy Fold. So let's start the video. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Pow. All right, guys, so the Samsung Galaxy Fold, a lot of people have been asking me, what's the update on it? How come you haven't been making videos? The whole thing with making videos has to do with my time and my personal life, but I just really wanted to talk about the phone, what I've experienced and everything that bothers me and, and everything that I like about the phone. Now, as far as the phone itself, it's probably one of the coolest phones that I've ever had in my entire life. I think the, the same feeling that I got with this phone is the same feeling that I got with the Galaxy Note Edge when it first had like that little edge panel on the side. And it's kind of funny that it was made by Samsung as well. So it just proves how Samsung changes the game whenever they could. Um, the panel on this is simply amazing. It is way over 1440p through the camera. It's very vibrant and it just uh, does what it have to do with a big panel like this. Now, when I first opened it up, it did have a feeling just like an iPad mini. So it had like that same width and like a similar height to it, but it's not as big of course, but it's pause, but it is really, really a fun device. Now, a lot of things that a lot of people have been asking me, they've been asking me about the crease. I really don't notice that little crease unless it's on a white background. But this thing is so cool. This is probably one of the coolest phones that I've had in years. But one thing that I do want to talk about is kind of being paranoid about it so there's not a lot of cases for it now if you do actually notice on my channel I do the unboxing and I do a whole bunch of case reviews there's literally like one or two cases for this phone one's by Speedian which is like a, a clear gel case and there's another one by Samsung that's like a leather version and they have like a leather pouch one as well which is like 130 bucks which I'm definitely not gonna spend on this but you need to protect this phone because I know that iFixit had just did a video on this and it really proved how sensitive this screen actually is because they actually glue down the layer of the screen. This is one of the things where we have to really look at the phone and just judge is this really a phone that you could carry on the daily with you. Now I do have a Pixel 3a which I've been using right now. As you guys can see I don't have a SIM card in this because I can't really take it out because I get paranoid about it. Like. So for instance, when it was raining one day and I had to take this phone out and I had to take it out of my pocket because I wanted to check my messages and literally I couldn't do it because I got so paranoid about the screen. Um, the screen is something that I just try to baby and I really don't want to bring it to a place where I know if I drop it, that it's going to break. But I know a lot of us knew that when we bought the device, but I didn't know how, how will it feel when it's actually in your hand. now. Another thing that I do want to talk about is actually cleaning the screen. Now, when you clean the screen with like a regular napkin, these little, small little particles from the napkin will actually rub up on the screen. Then you get paranoid. Then you try to blow it like a like a uh, game cartridge because you don't want to mess up the screen so hard because you can't really push down on it. So there's certain things about this that I really don't like and that has to do with how sensitive it is, but I kind of knew that when I actually jumped into it. Now, as far as the cameras, the cameras are A1. They definitely remind me of the S10 cameras. Well, no, I didn't have the S10. I had the Galaxy Note 10, which definitely was a beast. And I kind of missed the S Pen. That's another thing I really want to talk about. When I first got this the first week, the first thing I try to do is I try to pull out an S Pen that wasn't even on this thing. Now, there has been rumors about a S Pen coming to the next foldable phone from Samsung, which is literally will make so much sense to have a big screen like this, which will have an S Pen or some type of style that will work with this thing, especially since they have like the Galaxy Tab series. So I'm not entirely sure. Um, I'm not entirely sure what's going on with that. Uh, will they get rid of the Tab series? Will they stop making like the cellular? tab series because of this phone but this is one of the coolest phones that I've ever had once again now the presentation of the unboxing now if you haven't seen the unboxing I will have a link down below to that um, 
it is really really dope you do get the galaxy buds for free you don't get the super fast charger because this phone was supposed to be released way before that was even announced to having like the 45 watt charger or the 25 watt charger but it does charge fast now okay great that we got into that the battery life battery life is subpar in this is really not as great as everyone has been saying on twitter um it's average. You probably could literally get like five to six hours of screen out time because I usually keep my brightness up pretty high. So um, as you can see, I do have my brightness like literally almost to the um, to the ending of it. Uh, I don't have it too bright, but I just want it bright enough that when I take it out, the screen looks absolutely beautiful um, and not dim at all. So that's one thing that I really like about the, the cameras. Battery life is decent now. A lot of people have been complaining about the price. Now, do I think it's worth $2,000? Personally, I don't think that any phone is worth over $1,000. But just for the innovation on this, you really have to sit back and think what other phone could do that that is out right now. It does not have a hinge, a visible hinge on the front. Now, it does have a hinge in the back. Now, this thing, I have been having a lot of comments. They've been mad at me because I said this thing was made out of a... Uh, of steel or did I say that that was made out of metal now it does feel plastic now I'm not sure exactly what this is um, Samsung did actually uh, say something but I'm not entirely sure about it but uh, yeah it's it's something but it's definitely not steel it sounds too cheap it sounds hollow so this is basically the hinge the hinge is on the back but you don't see it when it's in the front, you just see the crease. Now, the fingerprint scanner. Now, I haven't been using that fingerprint scanner on the side. Um, I really have been using the face unlock, which is absolutely fast as hell. Uh, I'm not sure how secure it really is, but I have been using it with the Galaxy Note 10 Plus, when I have the Galaxy A70, um, and when I have the Galaxy Fold. So, Samsung has really figured out how to use the face unlock, but I'm not sure how secure it is because I know with Samsung Pay you have to use the fingerprint scanner so that would generally mean that you can't really use the face unlock when it comes to heavy security um things so uh so overall guys I've said a whole bunch of stuff the speakers on here are simply amazing but it's, it's just the fact is do you really see this as a daily driver that you do want to take with you on the go maybe if you have an office job Maybe if you don't go outside as much or if you don't have kids now. My kids have played with it, but I always make sure that they, like, I literally have my hand under the phone when they're carrying it. So it's definitely something that we definitely have to take a look at that you're willing to spend the extra money when it comes to fixing it if anything happens. Um, I will have a screenshot of what I saw in the iFixer video, so just take that into account. Um, another thing is that if you do get this through AT&T, if you do add the insurance for $9 or whatever, uh, you have a copay of $299. If you try to get this fixed with Samsung within a year, you can fix the screen for $149. If it passes a year and you try to get it fixed through Samsung, it literally might cost over $500 to fix this thing. So I would definitely put insurance in it if you want to use it as your daily driver. Now, will I keep it? I'm literally unsure because I know if I get rid of it, I'm going to miss it. The same thing that I did with the Galaxy Note Edge. That was another thing. So I'm literally in between, but with Pixel season coming up, I really don't see where this phone actually fits in into my lifestyle. And um, that's about it. Now, the front screen has been simply amazing as well i literally find myself actually using the front screen a lot um it does it's very reminiscent of the of the iphone 5 screen where it literally has like a taller aspect ratio but this thing has been super clutch when it comes to checking the time when it comes to just you know so having face unlock is exactly the same has wide angle camera in the front there's everything you needed to. Um, I'm really impressed with that so far. I do like this. It it does look weird. Now, just think about it. They just announced a phone from, I think it was Andy Rubin, and he just announced a phone that 
literally looks exactly like the front here, but it's the whole entire screen there. Like imagine if the fold had exactly like that, then the risk would be even more of a risk because now you're just risking breaking the front of your screen and not just the um, bigger display of the Fold. If you guys have any questions about the Samsung Galaxy Fold, this has been an absolutely beautiful and fun time experience with it. It's super thin and it does make people amazed by it. I've showed it to a, a ton of people and they're just simply amazed by it until you mention the price. Over $2,000, so you're basically paying $1,980 and with taxes here, it's about 110 bucks. So this is definitely an option to where you want to keep it in your collection or do you want to rock it on a daily and just be careful with it is really up to you. So if you guys like this video, hit it with a thumbs up and follow Phone Tech at work for more videos like this of the Samsung Galaxy Fold and more tech to come. Peace and love. I'll see you guys in the next video. Later.